This is episode 25 of the online Playmaker Sessions with video marketing and social media extraordinaire, Kate McShay. Welcome to the online Playmaker Sessions. This is the place for the latest what's working now strategies from the best online playmakers, the top marketers, the rising stars who are making it happen right now. Every week, you'll get real, actionable lessons that you can take and apply immediately in your business, delivered in short 20-minute sessions. Our focus is your results. Here's your host, entrepreneur, world-class trainer, and marketing strategist, Norbert Orlowitz. Hello, online playmakers. If this is your first time tuning in to the Playmaker Sessions, thank you for choosing us. And don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if you prefer video, our YouTube channel at onlineprofitplaybook.tv. As with all of our episodes, we have all the show notes, transcripts, and actionable tips over on the blog. Just head over to www.onlineprofitplaybook.com. You'll also be able to get access to my complimentary five-video tutorial series on building the proper foundation for your online business, as well as several other free trainings, including my Instant Income Multiplier tutorial. And if you're ready to multiply your results fast, check out the premium membership of our online profit playbook where our guests open up their closely guarded playbooks and walk you step by step through the exact marketing funnels and sales process they use to build their audience grow their influence and make sales get the coveted online profit playbook today just head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers A former elementary school teacher, Kate McShay now specializes in training home business owners and online entrepreneurs how to leverage the power of video marketing and social media to generate more leads, more sales, and build a massive following online. After struggling for four years in the home business profession, Kate and her husband Andrew went from zero to growing a six-figure business in less than 12 months, leveraging video marketing and social media. They've collectively generated over 70,000 leads, are top affiliates within two online marketing communities, had their first six-figure launch for their Facebook video ads course, and just recently had their first six-figure day. Kate is now a sought-after speaker and trainer who hosts her own live events and traffic workshops. She also facilitates and trains at some of the most exclusive private masterminds in the home business industry, which allows her to help stretch and grow her students through her greatest passion, teaching. This week's online playmaker, Kate McShay. All right, welcome back, everyone. Episode 25 here, and I'm very excited for today's today's uh, interview here. I've got a very special guest, uh, someone that I've uh, known for quite a, quite a while now. It's been quite a few years and just, uh, you know, watching her uh, develop her business, grow her business and impact so many lives around the world. Absolute pleasure to have you here. Kate McShay. How are you doing today, Kate? I am good, Norbert. How are you? I'm doing absolutely awesome. Awesome. You are bright and sunny. It's, I know you're up in Washington, the Northwest, and we get a lot of rain up here. It's been a kind of a, a rainy spring, but we got some bright sunshine. So I know both of us are kind of chipper and feeling good today, aren't we? Our vitamin D today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Extra boost. Awesome. All right. So uh, let's let's jump right in here because we, we want to keep this to about 20 minutes, but I want to get as much value out of your brain as we possibly can for our audience. Um, I know you've got a, a wealth of knowledge to share with people. So, you know, um, what I'd love to do, first of all, is just maybe share with us really quickly your story, how you got involved in this industry, got started online. Um, you know, what were the motivations? What was the big why that got you into this industry in the first place? Yeah, sure. Um, I've got an interesting story. So I would say that I was someone who didn't think I was naturally an entrepreneur at heart. I was someone, since I was little, I knew that educating and teaching was what I wanted to do. Like that's where my heart was. And so I worked my whole life in everything that I did to educate and to teach, whether it was through ballet, field hockey, lacrosse. And then inevitably I went and I uh, got my bachelor's and my master's degree in elementary education and psychology. And so I was a teacher for seven years. And then 
it was really interesting. I had one of those feelings where I thought I was going to have that teaching job for the next 30 years of my life and enjoy what I was doing. I was really good at what I was doing. However, uh, Andrew and I had just gotten married and we decided that we wanted to be a little mobile. We didn't want to stay in the same place forever. Um, and we ended up moving across the country. We lived in Connecticut at the time and we moved across to Portland, Oregon. And I was at that point inside of my teaching career where I, I had hit a plateau where I knew that I could run hard and continue to redevelop myself and help my students. However, I, the income wasn't increasing. <laughs> I was making about $36,000 a year with a master's degree. And wow, nuts, right? <laughs> Grinding wow. from probably about seven o'clock in the morning until five o'clock when I left my classroom and then continuing to stay in contact with uh, parents and, and with other teachers to help grow our community at school. And then I would see other teachers that weren't doing as much work as I was, but they had been in the, you know, in the system longer making right. level what I was making. And that's when I realized, okay, how, how can I do this and do it in a different way? And thank goodness, um, Andrew had been trying to find an extra way to make some side income uh, from home for a really, really long time, for a couple of years, actually. He was working up in our office space. I had no idea what he was doing. And <laughs> he invited me back in 2012, right before we were going to move to uh, Las Vegas to go to the No Excuses Summit, where actually that's the first time I ever saw you speak. Oh, my um, God. That was your introduction to this whole industry? Seriously. I had no clue about anything, and I went back. It was No Excuses 3. Yeah. And that was my first introduction. I mean, bravo to Andrew. I give him a huge pat on the back for taking me to a live event for like my first introduction ever. Which is a great, I think it's a great introduction for a spouse. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for anybody that wants your spouse to approve and, you know, lock arms with you, definitely get them to a live event. Because the one thing that I learned and there was so much, I was so overloaded with information. I'm just like, how does this all work? The thing that I took away, I think more than anything, was that I was surrounded in a room for years. I had been surrounded with people who didn't challenge me to want to take it to the next level. And literally spending three days at a live event, I realized that all of the people that were in this room were exactly like me. <laughs> and I actually was an entrepreneur, and I was someone who was meant to live my life a little bit differently. So... That's when I started out in my business. Long story short, I took the next 12 months and basically was busy. <laughs> I didn't do much. I watched a lot of trainings. I tried a lot of different strategies and didn't get very far with many of them because my head just wasn't right. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't really soaking up what I needed to do. I actually went back to the same events uh, next year, the next year and was frustrated with myself, was mad, frustrated, and um, not okay with the fact that I was seeing people consistently at events and having to explain the reasons I wasn't getting results. So locked ourselves in a room that night, skipped the VIP party and uh, mapped out a 90 day action plan and video marketing is what I started to resonate with. I just felt like I was an educator. That was a great way for me to educate. And then we shot, we had a 90 day action plan and we actually ended up taking action within three days. So we implemented that 90 day action plan in three days. We shot 30 videos in three days. Oh my God. It was <laughs> the momentum that got us started and got us growing. And from that point on, we signed up um, for mentorship to really move forward in our business and went from zero to six figures in 12 months after that three day blitz weekend. So wow. that's that's my, you know, story in a nutshell. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's really amazing. And I, I want to kind of pull out a couple of things there. Number one, I always love when I meet um, educators and teachers who are looking to build their business um, in this industry, and especially online. Every time I meet somebody, a, a teacher, an educator, I always get excited for them. Like, oh, that's awesome. You're in, you're in the best place. This is the best thing for you to do. Could you maybe speak to any teachers or educators out there or people that enjoy training, you know, coaches, 
trainers, and if you enjoy teaching and training, can you speak to them and, and uh, kind of share with them what this opportunity is really all about and how you're able to leverage those skills to create success in this business? Definitely. Um, and I, I will say that 12 months of struggle that I had was due to the fact that I didn't relate teaching and educating to this style of business. Awesome. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing that I can tell you is what held me back is I thought I had to be, you know, a sales rep. I thought I had to be a hard closer. I thought I had to, I had to know all this, you know, lingo. Right. Mm -hmm. And then what I realized was that being a good educator it doesn't matter what you're teaching. It doesn't matter, you know, the, the topic. It doesn't matter the concept. It doesn't matter the business. It matters that you're teaching a skill set to a group of students or a group of people that want to know more. Um, and that's the biggest thing that I can share with you that I learned that really took our business off was when I finally realized was people want to be taught. They want to be led and they want to be given information. And so the best way for educators to do that is just understand that you already have a skill set and it's really, you sell every single day when you're teaching and educating with whatever you're doing, right? Whether you're a coach, whether you are, um, you know, an elementary school teacher, high school teacher, college, you know, professor, you are selling every single day to get your students to take action and to perform and to learn and to grow. So it's the same thing with this style of business. It's just thinking about it in a different way of what skill set am I trying to give value to and I'm trying to teach on what can I recommend for them to learn more and then how can I help continue to enhance and move those people further. Um, so that's the biggest thing that I've taken with me for the last three years now is really understanding it's teaching a skill set to a group of people no matter what age level um, and really helping other people rise up. Awesome. Yeah, it's really it's really empowering, really exciting and, and just to understand that you can leverage those skills and those assets that you've developed, you know, as a teacher, as an educator, and really bring that into the business. And that's something I always try to focus on with my students is, is to look at what assets and experience do you already have that you can bring into this business. Cause I see so many people, they kind of put this wall totally. between their past life, yes. right? Their job, their experience, their past life. And now I'm going to be an internet marketer and this is a brand new, completely new thing, right? You see that a lot with people. But totally all the time. And there's this disconnect on, okay, so I'm taking action on this. I'm not seeing results. Um, I'm not successful. You know, what's the issue? And I, and what I always ask is what have you done in the past that made you successful? And yeah. almost every single time there's a story that comes up of, well, when I played football, you know, I did this, or when I started my first job, I did this. And it's always in a time frame of like 30 to 60 days of where people mm. crunched and, they realized what they needed to do to grind to get success. And so it's just reminding, and I do it a lot with my clients too, of aligning the fact of your past and everything that you've done in the past to see success is the exact same thing you need to do in this business. It's just understanding that that process is going to be the same and the growth is going to be the same. It just is a different concept that you're learning. Yeah, that's powerful. That's huge. Awesome. All right, let's talk a little bit about this breakthrough that uh, that you guys had. You and Andrew working together, and you you're you're attending that second No Excuses event, and you create this idea for this ninety day blitz, um, and you start to create videos. So I always like to ask this question to all of the the guests that I've interviewed. You know, is what was that breakthrough point? What did you specifically do to create your breakthroughs? And you just answered it already you guys started shooting videos. Can, can you go, can we go back and kind of dig into that a little bit more, this, this breakthrough of you guys creating videos? How did that create success? What, what, why, why shooting videos all of a sudden created success? What was, what happened there? Yeah, really great question. Um, because there were a couple of things that we actually did that we didn't even realize we were doing before we mapped out that 90 day action plan that allowed us to almost engineer our success and predict that in 90 days we would be getting X result. Mm -hmm. um, so there's two things that we realized during that breakdown is what drives and motivates us <laughs> was huge um, because having the vision and the understanding of what is a motivator for both of us is a big thing. And so what we both realized is that significance was huge for us. Um, competition was huge for us, whether it was with 
you know, somebody else or identifying ourselves as like, I want to be like that leader or trying to beat ourselves and continuing to beat our, our, you know, our records or whatever we were mm-hmm. doing and, um, significance, competition, and then recognition was huge for us in, right. the, in our past lives. Being recognized for our efforts was something that continued to drive and inspire and motivate us, motivate us. So what we realized then was we figured out that we weren't doing any of those things and we weren't moving forward to become an impact for anybody. And we started to identify some of the holes of the reasons we weren't having success. And what it came down to was I had actually shot a couple of videos before we did that huge video blitz and had gone through the process. I just wasn't consistent. And so what we identified was, okay, video marketing, we've, we've cut, you know, two to three videos. They're getting us roughly, you know, maybe one to two leads per day. Um, some of them two to three leads per day from YouTube marketing. That's how we started out. Um, and then we realized, okay, so if those videos are getting us leads, what other kinds of videos or topics can we utilize and create that are similar so we just have more videos? Because if we have... 30 videos that we shoot and we want to get to maybe like 55 leads a day, right? Because we knew that if we could, with the offer that we were driving traffic to, we were sending our traffic to MLSP, Mm -hmm. that if we got to 55 leads per day, we knew that MLSP would take care of the rest of the work. And so what we did was we've got three videos that are getting us two to three leads per day. So if we shoot 30 videos that are very similar, similar format, right? So I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time then I should be able, we should be able to gradually upload those videos and start getting some momentum to get to about 55 leads per day. And that's exactly what happened. And so for us, the biggest thing was identifying really what was frustrating for us, um, what motivated us and what were we already doing that was getting us some sort of result, even if it was just like a lead, (laughs) It got us some sort of result. So how could we do more of that to then pretty much put that strategy on steroids to then really um, create some momentum inside of our business? And I would say the last thing that was really important is we focused on traffic. We focused on video marketing. We didn't focus on anything else. At that point in time, if I think about the sales funnel, it was literally YouTube marketing. I was responsible for videos. Andrew did a lot of the uploading process. He did a lot of the SEO process, but we let a system take care of everything else because at that point in time, I wanted to control one thing rather than control eight things and get really good at one thing. And then I could continue to grow and scale from there. Right. Yeah. That's, and that's the advice that we always give to all students um, that, that ask, what's the best marketing strategy? Well, just choose one. And uh, and focus on it. So uh, with those with those thirty videos, um, b- basically, if I were to ask, what did you guys do with those videos? You're yeah. just talking about YouTube and YouTube SEO. Yeah, pretty much. So we're, we're you're talking about keyword research. So we identified what three videos were getting us the most results, and they were either how to videos or they were at that point in time it was a review of a company. Um, and those worked well for us at that time. Don't work that well as much anymore because you always have to figure out what's working, what's not at this time. But for us, we identified some other top leaders. That was an, actually, you know what? That's a really great point. We identified some other top leaders that were doing similar things. And so we started to pay attention to what people were doing consistently and said, okay, so let's see if we can repeat the process with a little spin in our own style. So we did keyword research, created videos that, that made sense, that walked people through a process to give them value. So it was basic introduction, um, value, right? Content and training. And it was a lot about lead generation. So the reason lead generation is is important and having ownership of your own leads and then how to get training on how to generate your own leads for your own business with a call to action at the end. Like and that naturally leads to something like MLSP or, or, or to a similar offer, yeah. Yeah, exactly, a similar offer. And so what we did is we just identified a ton of keywords that would relate to that style of video and created 30 videos like that because we knew those were lead generating videos. Those were traffic videos, not branding videos or anything like that. We wanted stuff that was going to get us traffic to drive traffic to a site. And, um, and then we did just straight up YouTube 
SEO at that point in time, what was working for YouTube back then and did that so we could get our videos to rank on Google and on YouTube when people would search in how to get more leads or, you know, how to make money from home, things like that. Um, our videos would pop up. So it was just a simple process of what we learned from other people who were doing it and followed the process and took action. Um, and it's amazing because there were a lot of people at that point in time that said, you know, YouTube's done. It's, you mm -hmm. know, there's, there's too many videos out there. And the important thing about this business is it is all about really attraction marketing. People are going to be attracted to certain peoples and, and their character and who they are and just instantly magnetically connect with that person. And that's really what happened for us. Absolutely. All right. So let's, let's get into the present moment. Then we want to know what's working for Kate McShay now in marketing. What are you doing? What are you excited about in marketing? There's a lot of new uh, social media platforms right now that are popping up, uh, you know, lots of new, new, new things, new strategies and stuff, but what is working for you right now? What are you focused on to generate leads and, and grow your business? Yeah, sure. So it's interesting when we started out with YouTube, I just in, I immediately knew that video was going to be something I would incorporate in my business for the long haul. And what's, what's really cool is that for anybody that's watching right now going, well, I don't know what my specialty is. I don't know what, you know, I'm supposed to do. I don't know what people want to identify with me on produce enough results and your people will tell you what you are a master at. That's mm. really what happens. And so what ended up happening for us was that we started to be identified as people who utilized video marketing to get brand exposure, leads and sales for their business. So what do you do? You become that person, you become that expert. Right. So for me, what I found is we still do YouTube, YouTube marketing. There's actually some really cool things that have come out uh, just recently. However, our biggest strategy right now that's been working for us is actually Facebook. And Facebook video ads have been incredibly powerful for us for, I mean, we've been doing Facebook video ads for almost two years now. Um, however, I would say like we really turned up the gas and turned up the heat last year, right around, you know, summer of last year. And I've had one ad that's been up and running, generating us leads and sales for the last, I would say six months getting us like an extra $3,500 in income from one ad specifically. And then we have a ton of other ads that are generating income. Mm -hmm. So video ads for us on Facebook have been absolutely phenomenal. Um, we do a ton of other Facebook advertising, but that's my specialty. That's what I like to teach on. And I like to teach it in a way where it's an on the fly method, where a lot of people that I work with and a lot of people that I know do the same style of business that I do, um, don't have time to have professional videos done and they don't have, they, and honestly, you don't need that equipment anymore. Literally need your phone. You need yeah. like a selfie stick or a tripod. And then you have to understand your people that you're speaking to and the message that you want to share. Like that's as simple as it is. And the reason I like Facebook video ads right now is because a minute and a half max is what you need. So it's super simple, easy to do. And you just literally upload it onto Facebook and then you promote that ad. That's it. You can drive traffic over to a blog. Um, and that's literally what has been working best for us to market our own products, to market affiliate offers, um, and pretty much anything. That's the formula is we create a video ad, send them to a blog post, and then give them some sort of call to action that sends them to some product or service. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. I know in the premium session, you're going to share with us your specific marketing strategy and the video ads that you're using, yeah. how you're driving that traffic. You're going to walk us through that process. So I'm really excited for you to, to share that with us. Yeah. Um, so obviously Facebook's big for a lot of people, right? Yeah. Um, now we got, we got a little bit of time left. I've got two really important questions. Number one is for the people listening right now, that are getting started or they're struggling to create results. And I know you do a lot of coaching. You work with a lot of people, you run events and masterminds. Um, so you work with so many people, you have you know so much experience. What's your advice to people getting started or who are struggling and kind of looking for that breakthrough? What do you guide them through? Where's your, you know, what do you advise them to do at this point to move forward, to create that breakthrough in their business? Yeah. So there's, one thing that I've learned from, from hosting a bunch of masterminds and from just listening to people explain their business or explain what they're doing um, and then helping people get clear is there's one thing that I've learned and just through my experience alone 
is that there's this space, right? So if you think of like the space over here is like a cliff and it's where you're currently at. And then there's this big gap <laughs> and mm -hmm. then there's your vision of where you want to be. And what I've found is that the majority of people have a, have somewhat of a clear vision of their why or, you know, the reason they're in this business, where they want to be, yet that space where they have to bridge the gap is where it gets foggy. Mm -hmm. And what I always like to, to, to describe it as is you start with where you're at, you start building this bridge, and then something hot comes out, right? Like, <laughs> that's super awesome right now. Everybody loves Snapchat. So you go back to where you're currently at, you start building up that bridge and then, you know, the new blogging course comes out. So you revert back. And what happens is, is that continuously you're getting closer to your vision, but you're actually sabotaging yourself bringing you back. So for me, the biggest recommendation that I can give you is to not give in to FOMO, which is fear of missing out. Because I'll tell you right now, every single person that's successful, and I know, I know Norbert, you could say the same thing, started yeah. out with one thing. And it didn't matter. I'm telling you right now, Facebook is still great. Facebook is still a wonderful way to build a substantial business. So is YouTube, Snapchat maybe as well. But pick one and run hard with it for 90 to 120 days. And for anybody that's waiting for that breakthrough, Traffic and marketing is where you want to be, and that's where you want to play. Let somebody else, whatever system you, you decide to promote, whatever business you have, let somebody else do that heavy lifting, and you just be responsible for driving traffic. That's it. Because if you really want that breakthrough, there isn't a possible way to control all of that, all those moving parts at the same time. There's really not. So focusing on the one thing. So if you think of... Um, What's the one thing that I can do every single day that will get me more results in my business, especially in the beginning? It's traffic and marketing. And it's building that bridge all the way to the point of where you hit a vision of where you want to be. Now, I'm not saying 10, 20 years from now, but maybe three months from now. Where do you want to be three months from now? And let that marketing strategy play out to the point of where you literally put blinders on. Um, I, I got to that point where when we made the decision to run hard with YouTube, I literally did not get on any webinar that had anything to do with anything else other than YouTube or other than maybe, and then potentially email marketing at that time because I wanted to email my list and build a relationship with my list. Those were the two topics. <laughs> That's it. I didn't worry about anything new or hot that was coming up because I knew it would be there for a time when I was ready for it. It's not going to go away, you yeah. know? So. Those would be the biggest things that I see. And it's interesting because I'll even see it at the mastermind. Someone will come in with the intention. They've got, you know, this is where I'm at. This is how I'm feeling. This is where I want to go. And then after they hear a bunch of other people share about what they're doing, they're going, well, what, how do you do that? And I said, well, you're focused on, on Facebook marketing and they're doing a whole other marketing strategy. So right now appreciate what they're sharing, but that's stuff you need to put on the back burner. So the biggest, biggest thing I can say is let FOMO, off the hook. <laughs> Just let it go and trust in the fact that if you focus on traffic and marketing, it will make a difference. And if you consistently do it, right, that's the biggest part for 90 to 120 days, consistently focus on one strategy. It will help you get to where you want to go. I love it. I love it. So complete your bridge. Yes. Complete your bridge. <laughs> so much more fun that way. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You, I love the, I love your analogy of that. That was a perfect picture, you know, that you painted in our minds and it is, it's absolutely true. Uh, you said it just perfectly. Okay, Kate, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. I'm really enjoying this. Um, you are an incredible teacher and educator. Obviously I love listening to you. Um, so let's just wrap it up really quickly here. Kate McShay's top three success strategy tips for success in online business. Ooh, let's go. Top, top three success strategy tips. Okay. Yeah. In business. Um, always being investing in yourself. Um, that can be the biggest thing, whether it's through products, tools, mentors. Um, be humble. <laughs> mm. know that there is a ton that you don't know and understand that there's always going to be somebody who knows better and be willing to accept that you don't know everything and offer yourself out to a mentor who can help you 
be coachable and move you forward. And the last thing I would say is having self-awareness of when you're off track, figure out what you need to do to get back on track um, in order to move yourself forward. Because what I can tell you is that you are the problem, but you are also the solution. There's nothing else that is outside of you that can make you do what you need to do in order to have success. So always remembering that, that if you're having issues, then there's a good chance that you are the problem for some reason, but you're also the solution on how you can make it better. So Mm. those would be my success tips. I love that. I love that. Perfect. Kate, thank you so much. Obviously, if you've enjoyed this, uh, this interview, and I know that you had, you have, uh, we're going to leave some links down below on, uh, on the website, onlineprofitplaybook.com. So you'll be able to get in touch, connect with Kate, uh, access some of the incredible training that she's put together for you as well. Uh, so we'll have those links on the blog at onlineprofitplaybook.com. And if you're a premium member, you want to make sure that you tune into the premium session where Kate's going to be opening up her playbook and showing us exactly what she's doing with uh, with Facebook video ads, which I'm really excited to, uh, to check out because she's been creating amazing, amazing results. Kate, thank you again so much. Really appreciate your time, um, giving of your time to uh, you know to share your your knowledge and your wisdom, and uh, really look forward to uh, the success that you're going to create over the next year and all the people's lives that you're impacting. So, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much, Norbert, and thank you for having me on and being able to allow me to share my value with your people. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. We will see you next week on another edition of the Online Playmaker Sessions. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this week's Playmaker Session. If you love the session, subscribe now to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes. Be sure to also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Just type in Online Playmakers in the search bar and click subscribe and be sure to leave a five-star review. All of the episodes, show notes, transcripts, resources, and bonuses are available on the blog over at onlineprofitplaybook.com along with several bonus free tutorials I've created for you as well. Your fast track to results is to follow the playmakers. You can download their closely guarded playbooks and follow them step by step to grow your influence, build your audience, and create results in your business right now. Head over to onlineprofitplaybook.com and join the playmakers to get full access today. Thank you again for joining us today and be sure to tune in next week as we bring you another power-packed session with the top playmakers online. This is Norbert Orlowitz signing off.